Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. It's still winter and it's still going to be cold over the next 10 days. That's the easy bit. Another thing that we'll notice is it will often be windy, but a slight difference next week because the cold winds of this week will be replaced by winds from a slightly less cold direction. Although the weather typically will remain changeable. Rain one day, showers the next. So a lot going on over the next 24 hours, let alone the next 10 days. Low pressure in charge of our weather through Wednesday night. This is a snapshot at one in the morning on Thursday. And as the low pressure moves in from the west, well, it bumps into cold air across the country. And that means that the rain associated with that low pressure will bring significant snowfall for southern Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, in the far north of England. Weather warnings are in force at the time of recording. For more details, you can find that on the Med Office website and through our app. Now, there'll also be a bout of wet weather, but once the rain clears, that's when the particularly strong winds will dig in as we head through into Thursday morning across central areas at first and then down this eastern side of England. Could be some disruptive wind gusts. Again, if you're concerned about that, more detail through the Med Office website and via our social media channels. Following a very windy start to the day across eastern parts of England, disruptive winds in places, well, it begins to calm down into the afternoon. It's still going to be a blustery afternoon. We'll still see frequent showers, uh, particularly across northern parts of Britain, and we'll see snowfall over the hills. It's going to be feeling cold on Thursday, but there will be some sunshine in the south and the east. And Friday looking very similar. Northwesterly winds, wintry showers in the north and the west, but plenty of sunshine in the south and the east. So a similar end to the week to how we started, cold air over the top of us. But there are changes afoot. Now, looking back to Wednesday, the time of recording, we've got a powerful jet stream running across the Atlantic. And that has been responsible for deepening areas of low pressure and sending them our way. The jet stream is a fast flowing current of air high in the sky. It tends to pick up low pressure systems and move them around the globe. And through the next few days, it is directly across the Atlantic. But if we take a look to the other side of the pond, well, slightly milder air is pushing its way north and that helps to buckle the jet stream. It sends it high over the Atlantic and then it dives to the south of the British Isles. And that will allow us to stay in the cold air, at least at first on Saturday. But also that change in the jet stream means that it will behave a little less like a raging torrent, a bit more like a meandering old river. And that means, essentially, it's going to be a quieter start to the weekend. Fewer low pressure systems affecting us and actually a brief ridge of high pressure. That means for most of us, it's going to be a fine day on Saturday. But Sunday, a different story. Cloud, wind and rain starts to move in from the west. As that bumps into cold air, there's the threat of snow, particularly over northern hills. But it's going to be certainly an unsettled end to the weekend. So if you have outdoor plans this weekend, Saturday is the day to make the most of them. Now, later on Sunday, that low moves away. Strong winds across southern areas will help to push it away. Those strong winds across southern areas are coming from the southwest. And, and this is the change I was talking about. We're going to see a subtle shift in wind direction, another low moving through at the start of next week. But in general terms, our winds are going to start to come from the southwest. The jet stream, again, it's a bit like a meandering river it's going to be supplying air a bit more from the southwest at the start of next week. Milder air, particularly across the south, temperatures in the north will be closer to average. And the signs are that at least during the first few days of next week, we're going to see mild conditions in the south, temperatures near normal in the north, and further bouts of rain, wind, and showers crossing the country. But slight changes later next week are expected because the wind's then changing to more of a northwesterly once more. So rain then showers throughout days 7 to 10. Mild in the south at first, perhaps temperatures cooling off again later. And there are some hints at the moment, so looking at some of the longer range computer models and also some of the things around the globe that tend to influence our weather that will have colder and drier weather from days 10 onwards. But there's a lot going on in the next 24 hours, let alone the next 10 days. So it's always worth keeping up to date with the latest on the Med Office website, through our app and via our social media channels.